now in this lecture we will just continue the previous lecture like previous day but we are discussing the solve of this problem problem was that s into 1 plus 2s into 1 plus 4s that was a type 1 transfer function and for that ultimately we have to uh, 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 get the whether this system is closed loop stable or not by using the frequency response analysis and the method we have uh, uh, apply uh, adopted is that nyquist uh, plot method that is nyquist stability criteria so by using the nyquist stability criteria we have to find out whether the closed loop system corresponding to this system is stable or not so so far what we have derived we have already this is your real part this is your imaginary this is your GSHS contour, GSHS plane and we have already developed the, sorry, this is the polar plot and mirror image of it and finally this part. All the calculations we have done and so the GSHS contour corresponding to the system GSHS uh, in the frequency response we have already uh, plotted, right. Now, uh, previously we have discussed that this point, this point is very much important where the polar plot intersects. This is the intersection point. Uh, this is your intersection point and you have to find out this intersection point. Now, how to find out the intersection point? The method already we have developed uh, in the, or discussed in the previous day. Now, uh, in order to get the point of intersection on the real axis with the polar plot, what you have to do? We have to just uh, retake the transfer function g g omega h g omega that means the sinusoidal transfer function after putting after rationalizing it that means in the real part and imaginary part separate section that means uh, in right uh, 1 plus 4 omega square into 1 plus 16 omega square and the next part is j into k 8 omega square minus 1 this is your omega into 1 plus 4 omega square into 1 plus 60 omega square now i repeat the step that first of all whenever you want to find out the point of intersection with this polar plot and real axis you have to make the imaginary part zero because everywhere on the real axis you see the imaginary part is zero so from this expression you have to make this part equal to zero right if you make this part is equal to zero solution of it you get the value of omega square right now uh, if i just uh, uh, get this equal to zero make this equal to zero and finally what you get k into 8 omega square minus 1 by omega 1 plus 4 omega square into 1 plus 16 omega square equal to zero what you will get from here you will so if this is equal to zero then solution of it definitely 8 of omega square minus 1 is equal to 0 that means omega square is equal to 1 by 8 now uh, this is your omega square or you can get the value of omega from here if required now uh, if the value of omega square is equal to 8 that means if the imaginary part at this point is equal to 0 then the real part corresponding to this is this see this part this is your real section where you have to put the value of omega square now if you put this value of omega square in this real section then you get this point right so what is this point and how you will get it just put this value of omega square there so you will get a uh, real part equal to minus 6k divided by 1 plus 4 into 1 by 8 into 1 plus 16 into 1 by 8 right so uh, we get real part equal to minus 6k by 1 plus uh, 2 that means 3 uh, 1 by 2 3 by 2 this is your 3 by 2 into 16 into uh, that means 2 3 right so uh, this is equal to minus 12k by 9 so this value is minus 12k by 9 that means this value is minus 12k by 9 or you can write it 4k by 3 this is minus 4k by 3 that means if the value of k was given to you say for example if the value of k was 1 so this value was minus 4 by 3 if the value of k is 100 so you get minus 4 into 100 by 3 now if the value is given as k so how to get the value 
right now uh, actually we uh, have, I don't want to get the uh, and this value get this value in terms of k so if the k is varied accordingly this position will be vary right so if the k is given that means there is certain range of k we have to find certain range of k right there may be different value of k starting from minus infinity to plus infinity for every value of k this value will be changed that means this may be mapped here this point may be here may, may be there may be there on the real axis wherever this may be line right now what we have to do with this value of minus 4 k by 3 now i am going to discuss this part so we get this is real axis imaginary axis this is your gshs plane now this is your polar plot and this is your nyquist plot now this point as we have derived this is minus 4 k by 3 right now according to nyquist stability criteria point of interest is minus j plus j0 this is your point of interest now minus plus minus 1 plus j0 point is lying somewhere here say for example you see the value of k i take as half or 0 0.5 right so what is this value then point of intersection becomes minus 4 into 0 0.5 by 3 that is minus 2 by 3 minus 0 0.67 right so this point is minus 0 0.67 so for example if the value of k is equal to 0 0.5 we get the point of intersection is minus 0 0.67 i just read out this structure see right this is your minus 0 0.67 if this is your minus 0 0.67 definitely minus 1 is lying here right so if the value of k is equal to 0 0.5 what do you get this point that's minus 1 plus j0 is outside this closed contour right outside this closed contour means the value of n is equal to 0 and see if n is equal to 0 and your transfer function is given as gshs is equal to k by s into 1 plus 2s into 1 plus 4s so there is no pole at the right hand side so at the right hand side you will get no pole right so p equal to 0 and you get z is equal to uh, p minus z is equal to n so z is equal to actually p minus n that is 0 so system is stable now for k is equal to 0 0.5 system is stable now if you consider the value of k equal to say minus uh, or 3 k is equal to 3 what happens this point of intersection becomes minus 4 into 3 by 3 that means minus 1 that means this point is just intersection point is minus 1 right so i can read out the structure like this sorry this point is minus 4 so According to this, if I read out the structure, what happens? You see, this is your polar plot. Right. So this point is minus 4. So what is your point of interest? Minus 1 plus j0. So minus 1 plus j0 is here inside this close contour. So now this minus 1 plus j0 point is encircled by this Nyquist contour right Nyquist uh, plot so what happens if this is encircling then n is having some value so now what is the value of n if the value of k is equal to say 3 i am not generalizing it i am just taking a specific example so if this is if point of intersection is minus 4 then minus 1 plus j0 encircled so number of encirclement for this so how to get the number of encirclement you see in the previous day we have discussed <laughs> our previous lecture just take a point on the real axis start moving along the path so this is your real axis point you i am just moving in this direction because the arrow is in this direction i am going there and coming back to this position right so one encirclement is complete now again this curve starting from here also right so we move along this direction see this is your direction now you are moving in this direction along this path and finally we are coming to this position so this is also one encirclement. 
So starting from this, I repeat the step. I repeat the step. The steps to find out the inside image. See, start from any point on the real axis. You go along this path in this direction, coming back to this direction. So this is one. And again, you move from uh, from this direction along this direction, coming back to this position. So what is the number of encirclement? Two. Now. Either it is positive or negative that can be understood whether the encirclement is along clockwise direction or anti-clockwise direction. You see both the encirclement is in the clockwise direction. So this is minus 2. Now by applying the same principle of Nyquist stability criteria P minus J is equal to N. So 0 minus J is equal to minus 2. So J is equal to 2. So the system becomes unstable. So what happens? See for a certain value of K. You get the system stable for a certain value of k you get the system unstable that means actually there is a range of value of k for which the system will be stable and we are going to get whether the system is stable for a certain values of k right so this point say now we want to generalize it how to generalize it look at this structure look at this structure you see if this is your minus one if this is your minus 1, right? Say this is your minus 1 plus j0 point. So definitely this point is at the left hand side of this. So this value minus 4k by 3 less than minus 1, right? This value is uh, smaller than minus 1. So if the minus 4k by 3, this point of intersection is less than minus 1. So what happens? In that case, you see this is encircling this minus 1 plus 0 then encirclement is possible is possible right again i read out the structure like this now this is your nyquist plot and this is minus 4k by 3 you see this is your minus 1 plus j0 point right this is another condition generalized condition so if this is minus 1 plus j0 definitely this point is greater than this and if this is greater than minus 1 so what happens this point is outside this point is outside this that means there is no encirclement right again there is no encirclement is equal to 0 right so what is the condition for encirclement is 0 that means minus 4k by 3 is greater than minus 1 right and if encircling is done, now coming to the common uh, condition, common condition is that GSH is having no pole at the right hand side. So this is fixed. Now in this condition, if this condition is there, so you get n equal to 0. Because if minus 4k by 3 is greater than minus 1, that means this point is outside this encirclement region. So this case n is equal to 0 and j is equal to we know that is uh, p minus n right so what we will get 0 minus 0 this is 0 so the system is stable for the stable condition then what is the uh, condition for a range of k this so j is equal to 0 that means system is stable right if the system is stable then this condition is to be followed if this condition is to be followed then what is the value of k we have to find out right so we get the condition for stability that is minus 4k by 3 greater than minus 1 that means 4k by 3 is less than 1 that means k is less than 3 by 4 so if the value of k is less than 4 that means for every value of k less than 7.5 0.75 the system is stable right and you see this condition this is another condition minus 4k by 3 minus 1 condition and in that case there will be encirclement and the number of encirclement you see uh, n equal to 2 right if this is uh, this is minus 4k by 3 and this is minus 1 plus j0 that means encirclement is 2 that is minus 2 because clockwise encirclement and p minus j is equal to n we get j is equal to p minus n and j is equal to 0 plus 
2 so that is 2 so if the value of jd is equal to 2 that means the system is unstable and if this condition we solve this condition you get 4k by 3 greater than 1 that means k is greater than 3 by 4 and now you can compare the results we have taken two values one is k is equal to 0 0.5 previously we have taken two values one is k is equal to 0 0.5 where we have seen that system was stable and another value of k was taken 3 so in that case system was unstable right these were the specific example but in case of generalized example if you just tell it you see k is greater than 0 0.75 that means that may be 3 and for value of 3 the system was unstable and here also you get the system is unstable similarly if you see k is less than 0 0.75 that means 0 0.5 the system is stable now uh, this is how the uh, Nyquist contour, polar plot and finally Nyquist stability criteria is applied to any system and if you go through these lectures uh, from day 1 to this, this lecture you will understand what to do and everything will be clear to you there will be no confusion actually and uh, now uh, after a few minutes I am going to give you one assignment and if you can do it then I will think that you have learned all these things and I will be definitely satisfied with this. Now to find out the gain margin and phase margin from Nyquist plot. As you see gain margin and phase margin can be calculated from Bore diagram as discussed in the previous lectures. Now gain margin and phase margin can directly be obtained from the Nyquist plot. So uh, in this example right now we have completed just take this example I have the calculation is already done so this will be a bit easier for us to discuss so uh, we get the complete Nyquist diagram is like this now from that how can you get the gain margin and phase margin see this is your point of intersection that is minus 4k by 3 right so to get the phase margin and gain margin you need to have a specific value of k and uh, you see for example uh, we take any value of k say k is equal to uh, 3 if the value of k is equal to 3 then the point of intersection is equal to minus 4 into 3 by 3 that is minus 4 that means this value is minus 4 so I am just redoing this and getting like this this is your minus 4 s is equal to minus 4 right so if this value is minus 4 so basically when you will uh, just draw this uh, Nyquist diagram in your millimeter graph or in your copy what you will get this is actually length length of this part is equal to 4 right this is your length that means from origin to this part this is minus 4 that means the magnitude is 4 and now from this magnitude you can get that gain margin directly so gain margin is written as 20 log of mod of 1 by a this is a right? general case the a is the point of intersection on the real axis if you know the value of a so in this case the value of a is equal to minus 4 so mod of 1 by a equal to 20 log of 1 by 4 dv right so uh, what we get this is 20 log of 4 uh, minus 20 log of 4 dv that is equal to minus 40 log of 2 that is log 2 value uh, is 0 0.30 uh, 0 0.30 into 4 means 12 that means minus 12 dv what you get the gain margin for this particular system in the value of k is equal to 3 is minus 4 12 dv so gain margin what we have obtained is equal to minus 12 dv c what you have taken the value of k is equal to 3 for the same problem we have discussed if the value of k is greater than 3 by 4 what happens system was unstable right and now from the similar figure you get the gain margin what is the gain margin minus 12 dv and you know in the frequency response analysis if the gain margin of a system is negative the system is unstable so the results are similar so this is how this is the way how you can get the gain margin directly now how to get the phase margin directly from this part phase margin this is phase 
margin. So to get the fake margin, this part. This is your Nyquist diagram. So to get the phase margin, you uh, need not to draw all this complete diagram on the Nyquist. You have to draw only the polar plot part. What is your polar plot? That was your polar plot. So this much polar plot will be sufficient to get the phase margin. And how to get the phase margin? Take the steps. I am just giving you the steps. What is that? See, this is your polar plot and say for example this is your minus 1 plus j0 right if this this can be anywhere so this is your minus 1 plus j0 point if this is your minus 1 plus j0 point so this point to this point what is the magnitude this is 1 right that means the magnitude is 1 from this point over to this point point of interest so what you have to do you have to make one take one compass pencil compass and make a circle just make a circle with center O, this is origin, right? Center O, that means origin, and radius is equal to 1. So, how to get the radius 1? If you take this point is minus 1 plus j0 point, so this distance is your unit radius, and now putting in the compass here, you will make one circle, just get one circle. right so once you get this circle this circle which touch you see in this position with the polar plot this is your actual polar plot when you vary from 0 to infinity frequencies vary from 0 to infinity and you get the polar plot so this is your point of polar plot intersects with the uh, uh, circle of radius 1 right if you get this O then next step you uh, connect O to A by straight line. You just join these two lines. Those are two points. This is your one, right? So O to A is joined, right? Now, if you join this O to A, what happens? You will get certain angle. That angle is measured here in clockwise direction from real axis, right? This is your real axis, and this is your O to A. Now, this O A this OA line makes an angle of 5 5 right I see this is 5 this is your 5 so this 5 is measured in anti clockwise sorry clockwise direction clockwise direction you see this is your line that means O to E line this line makes an angle of phi in clockwise direction once this phi is measured clockwise direction so uh, in this case for example I, I can just guess this is 90 degree and uh, this may be uh, 45 degree so total angle is 90 degree plus 45 degree so 135 degree say so phi is 135 degree now if phi is 135 degree and that is measured in uh, clockwise direction so phi is actually minus 135 degree and if phi is minus 135 degree then phase margin will be equal to 180 degree plus of phi this is the formula to get the phase margin so to get phi is equal to minus 135 degree so 180 degree minus 135 degree that is say in your 45 degree right so this is the way how you can get from the polar plot phase margin of that particular system so phase margin is positive though uh, we take two we get two quantities gain margin is negative and phase margin is positive now if any one of the phase margin or gain margin is negative the system is unstable so whether you get this is plus 45 degree or minus 45 degree uh, that remains same because you have already obtained gain margin is equal to negative so the system is unstable right so this is the way how you can get the phase margin and gain margin of it now uh, now it is your turn to solve one problem by using Nyquist stability criteria operating transfer function operating system is given by k into uh, s minus 3 by s into s plus 1 
right this is the problem given to you you have to find our uh, comment question is like this on the system stability using Nyquist stability criteria right so so far uh, uh, I have uh, given the lectures uh, on polar plot Nyquist plot Nyquist stability criteria and solve certain kinds of problem and hope you have understood all these things and if you can go through it in every step has been described and finally uh, this problem can be uh, easier for you to solve now and uh, once you uh, see this this is comment on the system stability that means there is also a uh, value k that means you have to find out the range of values of k actually for which range of values of k for which the system is stable now for him purpose just i am giving you the structure of the nyquist plot right structure of the nyquist plot will be like this similar to the type one and previous system uh, so once you understand the previous one then by uh, the steps where i've described step by step you draw the polar plot you draw the nyquist contour you know the draw the nyquist plot then use the formula p minus z is equal to n to get the stability this is all about the <laughs> nyquist plot uh, so in this time of lockdown i have tried my best uh, in uh, in uh, by using the limited infrastructure as you can see so there may have some problem in viewing these uh, lectures uh, may not be uh, so much problem and uh, some kind sometime you may face uh, the visibility problem that means there is not much of resolution as you can understand the network problem bandwidth problem and the infrastructural problem but everything is described in detail and hope you enjoyed this lecture and finally you can solve this problem uh, and i will uh, i think that uh, this problem the solving of this problem will make you understand all these things thank you